Hi, my name is Matt Albright with the Lincoln Electric Company, and today we're going to show you how to further customize a PowerWave setup once your procedures are set up. We're working with a PowerFeed 25M suitcase style wire feeder, a PowerWave S350 power supply, and a PowerWave STT module. I have a procedure set up in user memory 1. I'm using mode 13, which is a rapid arc mode, using 035 wire and argon CO2 gas mixture. Now that I have my procedure settings in the machine, there's a couple things I can do to customize how it performs for me. By pressing these two buttons together, we get in our user preference setup menu. What I want to do today is focus on one preference, which is called trigger memory recall. By going to preference number four, I can enable or disable this function. By pressing this button, it allows me to disable or enable it, and I'm going to enable it. I'm going to exit out of the preference menu by scrolling back pressing exit and show you how this works. Trigger memory recall is a function that works off the trigger itself. Depending on how many times I press the trigger in sequence with one another, it's going to cycle between the different user memories. By squeezing the trigger twice, I can go from memory setting one to memory, set memory setting two without going back to the machine. And vice versa, I can go from two to three by just sequencing the trigger. By putting your most popular settings in memories two and three will give you the quickest ability while cycling between the procedures. One, two to go back to memory two, one, two, three to go back to memory three, and so forth. This is a great way to customize your settings so that I don't have to continually go back and forth from my workpiece to the machine. Another way to customize welding performance is to go back into the user preferences menu and scroll over to preference number five. This is the external switch function. I can change this to a function called quick trigger, which allows me to change welding process in the middle of welding. So I can go from a hot procedure or a cold procedure without using a dual procedure gun. So I'm going to enable quick trigger, and we're going to set up a welding demo to show you what that looks like. I'm going to exit back out of user preferences, and I'm going to save two different processes on the user memory so that I can switch between those two. Memory one is going to be one of my processes. This is the rapid arc procedure I set up. And memory number five is going to be my B procedure, which is a CV argon mix 035 process. So these are similar settings, but different modes. By setting the gun section to in between gun A and B, with this light flashing allows me through pulling the trigger to change the process in the middle of welding. And once I pull the trigger, it will change from A to B, back to A, and back to B as many times as I need. For more information about the PowerWave system, go to lincolnelectric.com.